One, two, three, go. So, good morning, class. Um, before we start our lesson, um, I want to make sure um, you can hear me clearly. Am I audible? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you. Good morning again. Um, um, I want to start our class with a prayer. Marites, can you lead the prayer? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So, good morning again, class. How are you? Marites, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How about you, Sophia? I'm doing good, ma'am. That's good. And you, Patricia, how are you? I'm also good, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Let us now move on with our new lesson for this morning. Are you ready to learn? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. Our lesson for today is the time words for and since. So, in English, we often use prepositions to place a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase in time. This way, we can communicate the passage of time. One common problem that English learners face is how to use prepositions of time. Two of the most common prepositions of time are for and since. English learners often have difficulties with these two prepositions because their native language may, may use prepositions differently. So I have here a presentation of the meaning and use of this time word. I want you to listen carefully so that you can answer my questions later, okay? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, we often use for and since when talking about time. Can someone read what's on the presentation, please? Yes. Um, and Marites? Okay, ma'am. Since. Since plus when something began is the start of time. Four. Four plus the duration of something, how long it lasted. Thank you, Marites. So four plus a duration of time is, um, for example, is five minutes, two weeks, six years. Four means from the beginning of the period to the end of the period. And since plus point this point, uh, a point is a precise moment in time. Uh, for example, 9 o'clock, 1st January, m Monday. Since means from a point in the past, past until now. Now, I have here two sentences. Please read the first sentence. Anyone? Ma'am? Yes? Pat? Number one, today is Thursday. Mira has been in Lima since Sunday morning. Thank you, Pat. So uh, my question is, when did Mira arrive in Lima? Ma'am? Yes, Marita. On Sunday morning. Very good. And what was her first day in Lima? Ma'am? Yes? Sunday. Okay, very good. And what day is it today? Ma'am? Yes, my test. Thursday, po. Okay. And lastly, how many days has Mira been in Lima? Ma'am? Yes, Sophia? Um, four days, po. Thank you. Now, for practice, uh, I want someone to finish these two sentences. Oh, wait. So, these are the answers. Now, any, um, is there anyone who wants to finish these uh, two sentences? Yes, um, Marites. Um, Mira has been in Lima for four days. And the second one? Mira has been in Lima since Sunday. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. So the answer is here already. Now let's go back to the previous slide for the second for the second sentence. Can someone please read the second sentence? Ma'am. Yes, Sophia. Um, number two, Luis moved to Nepal in 2010. Okay, thank you. Now for the question. What year did Luis start living in Nepal? Yes. Ma'am. Yes, Pat. Um, 2010. Okay. Correct. So, um, what year is it now? Ma'am? Yes, Marites. 2021. All right. Now, can someone make a sentence with the word since? Ma'am? Yes, Pat? Louis has been in Nepal since 2010. Very good. Uh, uh, and for the word for, can someone make a sentence? Ma'am. Yes, go ahead, um, Sophia. So, Luis has lived in Nepal for 11 years. Okay, very good. Thank you, everyone, for answering. Now, let's proceed to the examples for further understanding. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I have your simple timeline and example sentences of the time read for and since. So, the, for example, um, I have been studying since 9 a.m. So, the time, the time now is 11 and the past time is 9 to 9 until now. That's why um, the word since was used. Now, um, the other examples are, she has been a teacher since 2013, and Diana has lived in London since January. For the word for, um, it is the duration of time. For example, I have been studying for three hours. Uh, here is the timeline. And for the other examples, she will be in the office for two hours, and she has lived in London for three months. Now, um, I want you to look at this table about the different use of for and since with different senses and observe their differences, understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, uh, I'll give at least two minutes to observe the difference and understand them carefully. So, are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can anyone please read the, the table? Just this first part, the four. Ma'am? Yes, yes, Pat. Four, a period from start to end. For example, for 20 minutes, for three days, for six months, for four years, for two centuries, for a long time, forever. It is um, applicable to all tenses. Okay, thank you, Pat. And for the next column. Ma'am? Yes, Marites. Since, a point from then to now. For example, since 9 a.m., since Monday, since January, since 1997, since 
150 uh, okay since I left school since the beginning of time and perfect tenses okay thank you for that now to support and help you understand them more um, I will explain to you their difference in use and ask you again some questions understand yes ma'am yes, ma okay, so we have here a timeline for four with past simple tense and four with present perfect tense um, use four to describe duration to say how long something has lasted in a period of time that has a beginning and an end after the word four we say the length of time for example for three years for two months for five minutes uh, when we use for with the past simple, the end time is in the past. When we use for with the present perfect, the end time is now. And for the since, the period of time that starts with since ends with now. We are looking back from the present moment now to see the time that something began. We can also use since with other perfect tenses, such as the past perfect. In this case, both the both the start time and the end time are in the past. For example, he'd been studying German since he got married. Now for the activity, please read the instructions. Ma'am. Yes, Pat. Recite the correct time words for and since for the following tenses that will be presented on the screen. So I will present to you the um, uh, following tenses, and you will just recite all of you if we're we're going we're going to use for or since. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. Number one, ten minutes. What is the four? Word? Oh, four, yes. ma'am. Thank you, Maritas. Four. Number two, Christmas. Since, po. Since, po, ma'am. Correct, since. Number three. Since, since, since ma'am. Okay, correct. Number four. Since, ma'am. Since, po. Very good. Number five. Since. Since, po. Since, ma'am. Number six. Four. Four, four po, ma'am. Okay, number seven. Um, since, since, since. since. And number number eight. Since, Since ma'am. Number nine. Four. 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 Okay. Okay. And lastly, number ten. A week. Four. Four, four ma'am. Okay. Good job, everyone. Now, um, I think you're ready for a quiz. So I will give you 10 minutes to answer and complete the following sentences with the correct time words. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so I will give you 10 minutes. Um, one minute, one minute for each number.
Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so please uh, send your work to our Google Classroom. And before we end our class, let me first summarize our lesson. So the time word for in English, we use the, pre the preposition for to talk about an amount of time or space. The amount of time could be seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, or even years. The amount of time does not need to be exact. You could use for when you are talking about vague periods of time, like for the weekend, for ages, or for a long time. The important point is that for, for is used to specify a period of time. In English, the basic formula for using for is this, for plus a period of time. For can be used when talking about the past, present, or future, regardless of the verb tense. The preposition for is still followed by a period of time. And for the time word since, in English, we use, uh, we use since to refer to a point of time. Since we can refer to a point after a specific time or event in the past, or it can refer to a particular point beginning some time in the past and continuing until the present time. The particular point in time could be anything. That, for example, last Tuesday, 2008, or midnight, for example. Uh, the important point is that since is used with a particular point in time. The basic formula for using since is this. Since plus a particular point in time. In sentences with since, we usually, uh, we usually use perfect tenses when using since. We normally use present perfect and past perfect tenses in the main clause of the sentence. We wouldn't use since when you are talking about the future because by definition, since refers to a specific point in the past. So, do you guys uh, understand our lesson for today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Be very good. So, just uh, send your work to the Google Classroom. And uh, let's end our discussion for now. Thank you for actively participating in our class. See you in our next meeting. Goodbye, class, and take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma